Yo, what's up, guys? So, I've been away for a little minute, but in regards to that, I heard this little video been going around the interwebs of some streamer apparently, like, bullying his own member because they, they like, told them that their, their mother passed or something like that. So, like, let's watch together and kind of, like, go through it, all right? Because like, I, I, I want to figure out, am I, am I wild for thinking, like, that's crazy? So, let, let's, let's just see. Just in Spanish, and it's chef's kiss, all right? Curvy, where the fuck have you been? Oh my god, well tell you what, Miss Dirty Curvy, you know what we're not gonna do? We're not gonna talk about it in my chat. Cause Then why ask? Then then like then why ask? You I, you just said, where have you been? I've been here. We're not gonna talk like what? I, I you know, maybe I'm wildin'. Let's just finish let's let's, let's keep it going. Let's let's go. Let's go. It's Friday, and that is a whole big bucket of bummer. And I'm sorry for your loss, but we're not doing that in my fucking chat. You know, there is a plethora of ways how to handle that situation. And by telling <laughs> her mother just passed away. I think I need to preface that part. Let me repeat that. Her mother just passed away. And your response is a bucket full of bummer. And we're not going to do that. Let me reiterate. You asked her where she was and she responded to you with an honest answer like i just i feel like like am i crazy there's so many ways to respond to that and you pick the absolute worst one but but let's let, let's let's keep going uh thank you well okay mr dirty curvy you said no that's fine you asked so i told no i didn't ask you to tell me the biggest fucking bummer news in the world you, you <laughs> oh my god you did you actually you did you when you're in a situation whether it's public private or or what have you when you ask someone a question nine times out of ten you don't get to dictate how they respond to you right that's their choice okay if, if i if, if i was to punch you in the face like deck you in the schnoz with a left hook haymaker how you respond is purely up to you. I can't in turn tell you, oh, I know I punched you in the face, but don't get mad. Don't be upset. Don't do that. No, you listen, you are in full rights to feel how you want to feel. That's, cr that's crazy. I said, hey, what's up? How are you? You know what? Let me give you a little bit of a lesson, Miss Nerdy Kirby. When something really, really bad is going on in your life and in a public forum, someone asks you, hey, what's up? How are you? There are two acceptable response, uh, responses. Good and you know what? I'll make it through. I I just, I, I feel like, okay, I wanna just preface one thing. I wanna put to the side real fast. Can we, can we make it normal to stop this whole like not be okay situation? Like I feel like people should understand it's okay to not be okay. If someone asks you how you're doing, you should be allowed to tell them how you feel. You know, I get you shouldn't trauma dump people. You feel me? I understand that. And like that is his channel, whatever. That, that's his private. That, that's his, his rules, which is fine, which is fine. Again, you ask, but get back to my, my, my point I'm trying to make here is that it's okay to not be okay. And I think at some point, we as the people have gotten, have forgotten about that aspect. Like, I, I don't like this whole like, how you doing, bro? Uh, it's what it is. And, and be, be going through the worst time of your fucking life. That like, and I've been there. And that sucks, man. That sucks. But let's keep going. That's it. How are you? Good? Or, you know what? I'll make it through. Awesome. Love to hear it. See, there you go. Or prom's response. I, yeah, I said, prom, how are you doing? She says, I'm alive. There you go. Oh, I asked you where you were. Look, Mr. D. Kirby. All I'm trying, I'm just subtly trying to tell you that. Subtly trying to tell you, you j can we, d d should we do a, a flashback of, of the, um, bucket full of bummer, um, what you're not going to do is say that, say that in my chat. What, did you, did you not, did you forget that part? Like, bro, like that, you're blasting her on the internet and in in full, a full stream for all these people for, for her mom passing away. I get, let me reiterate for you. Her mother died. Do you know how that feels? You know how, how how she's probably not in her right mind state. You feel me? Like yeah, trauma dumping again. That's that's not cool. But like her mother passed away. I'm sure that nine out of ten people. 
that mothers passed away or been some kind of traumatic event are not in the, the right mind of state to be thinking about, oh, you know what? Let me follow these exact rules and not say, like, you feel me? That's you. Mm. That unloading really heavy news in people's chats on Twitch is not like good etiquette. It's just, it's not the place to do it. That's all I'm trying to tell you. That's it. I'm just, I figured this is a good opportunity to inform you. What is you? What are you, her her dad? Her, her what are you, her doctor? Her, her teacher? You trying to inform her and teach her? What is this shit? Like, I, oh, I, guys, listen, I don't want to repeat myself and I, and I hate having to do it, but like, you asked. <laughs> My guy, like, how stupid are you? Like, this is how you single-handedly destroy your own streaming career. Because, like, as a streamer or influencer, it's already, like, very, very slim pickings to, to make it. You know what I'm saying? To have an audience. To have people to listen to you. To have a core following. And this is literally how to ruin the career 101. That's how you do it. Because as a streamer, as, as anything, you want to be relatable. You want to be liked. You want to be understood. You want to be genuine. You feel me? You want people to understand you. And I think that when you're doing anything where you're trying to, to, to be yourself or show, or show yourself, you have to um, process how to respond to things, right? And I just feel like, again, once earlier, this is not a lot of what does. Like, like, for a good example, right? If someone came into my chat and was like, oh, you know, I'm, hi, how you doing, bro? Where you been at? Oh, you know, my, 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 my dad passed away. Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. But tell you what, you know, it's Friday. Welcome to the stream. Have a good time. Hope you can chill out. And I hope this makes you happy. Or even like, you know, just or just, just bypass it. Hey, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Keep your head on. Let's keep moving. You can do so many ways to handle that situation. Involve them in the chat. Like, you can do a lot of things. But instead, you chose the absolute minimal worst option. How? How, bro? Make it make sense because the math is indeed not mathing, my guy. I, it's like, it's like you you chose to die on your own sword. That's crazy. Let's finish this video. Heavy news like that? When someone asks, hey, where have you been? You don't need to tell them, well, my dog died. My husband left me for a younger woman. My house burnt down and my car got stolen so i've been a little bit busy that's why i haven't been around that's actually exactly how you respond to someone if they ask you where you've been if that happened to me right if, if i was involved in something and i've been gone for a minute and i and i, and I run someone that i've been involved with and say hey man nero where you been bro i've been through it and and you tell them like because you ask and especially like i said before if you go through traumatic things you're not always in your right state of mind so you may be thinking oh you know let me not say you know but sometimes you just want to get it out you want to say how you feel and you should be allowed to say how you feel and if someone asks you that of course you know my car got stolen bro my dog passed away yeah those it's okay to feel those normal feelings i like i yo i cannot stand this like sense of like don't feel emotion don't say how you feel hold it all in and bottle it up that shit is for the birds we need to get past that like that is such a 2007 college guy mentality that shit is whack this dude ooh, let me let's 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 finish it up because it's like oh god like uh oh uh, like you know like if oh did, I, oh that's such a Oh, woe is me streaming to get free money and someone comes to my chat and has emotions. Oh, I can't believe it. I have to deal with this. Oh, bro. Get a, grow a pair. If someone asks, hey, what's up? Where have you been? And it's heavy. Just be like, I had a bunch of shit going on. So I've been lying low for a little while. Got it. That's it. <laughs> I'm not trying to rip you a new ass. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not trying to be a new ass. You spent the better half of those two minutes doing exactly that. That that you know that remind me of the 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 phrase of like, um, I'm not racist, but you know, um, or they'll say something offensive. I'm I'm not trying to be mean, but yes, you are. Like that is totally your intent. Like, so let's 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 wrap it up, right? In in conclusion. 
when you ask someone how they feeling, they're going to respond to you. And whether it's public forum, private forum, that's up to them. Now, let's let's throw them some bail, okay? Let, let's throw them some bail, right? So, yes, it is his channel, it is his chat, it is his rules. If his rules say no trauma dumping, no negative vibes, you know, so on and so forth, that is cool. That, that's, that's, how it run, that's how it runs things. And that's totally cool. But, again, you avoid that when you when you ask that question. Hey, where you been? Right? And they should be allowed to respond to you. And I just feel like this this right here is literally career, career suicide, essentially. Like, it just, that that's that's how I feel. I feel like, it's got, you know what, let's just keep it a, bu- a buck and a half here. This guy is an asshole. Like, th- like, watching this, this small portion really pissed me off. And like, okay, so, you know, and possibly, yeah, it could be out of context. But I feel like, I don't think there's any other context here that needs to be given outside of like, you're an asshole, but it's whatever you feel me. Like that's how you want to run your things, do your thing, bro. But that's just, in my opinion, that's pretty shitty. But anyway, guys, what do you think about the situation? Like, like how would you deal with this if it was your channel, or your chat? Leave it in the comments down below. I miss you guys. Leave me a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, man, I'll see you next video. Take care. Take it easy. Happy holidays and all that fun stuff. Be clean. Be easy. Take care. Peace. Bless up, be a blessing, bless him With a front line to protect him Big bullets in the backseat With the right clean, rush out to the window High sugar speed, charge at 150, hyper my beam No recharge, five time on your whole team Got three more shots to the neck I'm feeling alright, got nothing to the left of me Go down, pull up, two step with me DT to the S, you hating me Speak up, don't front on your jealousy I'll come for you, throw it respectfully But it's love, yeah, it's all love that I retain